Hi hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to combine photos and text. So first things first is you want to load your photo into Photoshop and to do that you want to go to file and open and then select your image. Once you've loaded your image in Photoshop then we want to go and select the text tool and you can do this by clicking on the text tool at the left hand side and the font which is at the top we're going to select as impact so you can select the drop down menu and select impact. We're going to have the color is black uh, it doesn't matter on the color really and the size of the text I'm going to put as 600 and then we're going to click on the image and then you want to type whatever you want to put on the image so mine's going to be photo pro oh, missed the O out, sorry now we're going to select the move tool and then we're going to move it in the middle now we're going to press Control and T and that uh, selects the free transform now you can do whatever you want uh, with it you can just uh, make it bigger and keep it in the center what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it and we're going to make the font as the sorry the text as big as we can make it so something like there like so a little bit more just play around until you uh, go it to the size that you want so once you've done that double click it now we're going to double click our layer which is the background as you see the little padlock tool so double click that image and you can name your image uh, layer anything you want even background even and then click OK now we're going to drag the photo uh, pro the text layer down one so it's the bottom now we're going to hold down the alt key on our keyboard and click the little line just between both layers now once you've done that you'll see that the uh, text has become the photo now you can keep it that way or you can do what I like to do and we're going to add a um, drop shadow so you want to press the FX on the bottom right hand side and press drop shadow now we're just going to put the distance and the size up and we're going to add a bevel and emboss so put the distance up and the size like so and the depth now you can play around with these settings depending on what you want uh, to do I've just gone for the depth of 307 uh, percent and the size of 32 and the drop shadow is distance of 28 and the size of 81 now you can play around as I said um, and get the effect that you want then I'm going to click OK now I'm going to go to the top layer and we're going to duplicate it you can do this by dragging the top layer down onto the new layers uh, button which is on the bottom right hand side and dropping it onto that button now it's going to duplicate that layer now we're going to bring the top layer down and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter we're going to go to blur and we're going to go to radial blur now we're going to select the uh, blur m method sorry as zoom or you can have a spin which basically as you guessed makes it look like it's spinning but we're going to go for zoom for this one now you can uh, drag uh, where you want the zoom into but I'm just going to keep it into the middle at the moment depending on your photo if you've got like a person you might want to uh, drag the blur center to that person and so forth but uh, at the moment for this image it should be okay in the center now if you're going to change the blur center it is of a bit of annoying uh, filter because you don't know actually where on your photo it is it's just trial and error really so once you've done that you want to click OK now depending on your computer it can take a little while just got to wait for the progress um, to finish so once it's done that it should be all blurred then we're going to uh, put 
uh, a lot more into it after this is done takes a little while hopefully it should be done soon obviously I'm running uh, quite a few programs at the moment so once it's done that you'll get something like this now after this you want to go to image adjustments and brightness and contrast now we're going to bring the brightness down I think minus 13 should do it and the contrast up to no something like 82 no sorry 92 sorry and then click OK and then I think that is a stunning photo you can do that or you can keep it just like that depending on what you want to do with your images so I hope you like this tutorial and please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye for now